Hello everybody and welcome back to the realm of Vastin. We're doing a fairly big project today, so buckle up. Buckle up, because we're going to be here for a bit. This is the area uh, immediately surrounding the big custom tree I've been working on. It's got some stuff brewing, like we've been working on some stuff. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But there are a few things that I really want to address as far as the, the future of this tree and what we're doing, you know? Um, so I built this last episode and I built that the episode before that. Ooh, hey, lag. Hey, hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. That's good. No problem. Creepers don't scare me with my armor, with my amazing leather armor. Leather gang. Wait, what's it called? Leather crew, better than you. We may need a new slogan at some point, but it's what we're going with for right now. It's what I'm just, I'm going with. I'm the only one doing it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm the only one with the slogan. So this was two episodes ago. That was last episode. And Criddle did this. In the meantime, you may be having an episode out soon. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, and then I did the stables over here. So what I'm thinking, and then I fill out this road as well. So what I'm thinking that we should work on today is work on the beginnings of getting up into the tree. Now, the tree is missing a whole bunch of branches. Yeah, I know. I talked to Mollus a little bit. Mollus may be heading up the leaf uh, team. So uh, as far as building, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be building these uh, later. Uh, we're going to be building these trees prop by hand. There's no way to do it structure block wise. We're going to have to do it all by hand. So fine. No problem. But for the leaf canopies, it's not a realistic thing that we're going to be able to build those by hand in the allotted time. And we have Adri. We have lore surrounding this. Like we have specifically written lore that makes it possible, right? To, to, to fly and leave. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna build the leaf canopies in Adri and then use structure blocks to place the leaves. Now, there's still gonna be, you're still gonna have to go and do a bunch of edits and some custom work. You're, you're gonna have to place a whole bunch of leaves by hand, I know. But it's gonna take care of a big bulk of it so we don't have to completely spend every second of our lives grinding because you know i was like, talking to them all like most of us are, are content creators almost all of us so um you know there there's some realistic thing like like i would love to work on this tree for two weeks straight i mean i would love that i would love the grind but i can't do episodes two weeks you know three or four episodes a week of realm of vast and showing me working on this tree right <laughs> i'd have one uh remaining subscriber and it would be my mom hi hi mom Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know if you noticed at the very tail end of that time lapse. I hope it didn't get cut off, but uh, yeah, I took a fall. I took a fall because of the whole half slab crouching thing doesn't work nonsense that has been the game for a long time. And uh, yeah, I got down to half heart. Let's just take a look at how far I fell <laughs> from way up there. So uh, uh, yeah, yeah. My leather armor just kicking butt. My leather armor just kicking butt. So I, since I fell, let's talk a wee bit about what's going on over here anyway. And uh, yeah, so I did I did this. Th none of this is permanent. This is all subject to a lot of editing, a lot of editing. But some of the general ideas are going to be good. Like, like um, I think that uh, obviously we're going to go with a, a real, a lot of sprues, insert a lot of sprues and all that kind of stuff in here just to make it look less of this. A lot of the double slab texture. Hey, why don't we eat? <laughs> Man, I cannot believe how close I came from falling. I really thought that was going to be, that was going to be it for me. I really thought so. But yeah, if you, I did slab all of this almost to the top, and and that's when I sort of just got, oh yeah, this this worked out. I didn't, I did not plan this at all, and I just can't believe how perfectly it worked. This came exactly, I mean, to the half block of where I wanted it to go, and I didn't plan it at all. But but shh, 
just don't tell anyone. So once this tree is finished and it looks unbelievable and we get a bunch of houses and all the leaves and everything put on, people are like, wow, this must have been such a headache to work on. And I'm like, yeah, it really was. It was all kinds of intense calculations using, using calculus and uh, long division and so forth and things like that. So if you go up this stairway, it looks good. And I get, oh, and then this also, this also worked out perfectly because I believe Mantis was going to put a, maybe a restaurant or something up here. I'm not totally sure, but this could potentially be a great entrance. So again, worked out completely perfectly. Thank you, geometry class. And this is where like the slabs ended. I'm not going to do it on camera, but you know, it is like putting slabs up pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Just, just, you know, slabs so you don't have to jump constantly, but okay. Uh, that's the last one I'm doing. I'm walking the rest of the way. Okay. So uh, yeah, it, let me, let me show you where, where this ends off at. And what I decided to do at the very end of that time lapse was I decided to do a bridge. Now, um, whoops, I'm underneath the thing. Now the bridge is a little tricky because this is, there's a little bit of an angle. So the way I decided to go at it is go every, it's not going to be a, a curve. So every four blocks is going to step in one. Now the problem with that and why it gets so complicated <laughs> here is because this is where it ends. No, 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 this is, this is not, this is not great. Okay. Okay. So what, I, oh my goodness. I almost fell again. Okay. What I need to do is get rid of some of this. Some of these need to go. That needs to go. And then what I should do is just do some, maybe like some scaffolding somewhere. Let's, here, let's get, we don't need to be in the middle. Cause I, I went up to the lowest point to start the bridge. So if you're ever doing this kind of thing and you want the hanging effect, then going out to the lowest point makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's, let's do, oh man. Um, everything's going wrong here. Let's do this. Okay, that should be enough. I can do this jump. I barely made it. I barely made it. Oh man. Okay. Let's eat again. <laughs> I want to be fully prepared for my next eventual fall. So yeah. So what, so what I'm doing here is I, I put five in the middle. So this is the lowest point. Now this point I may stretch on for like six or something, but it's five in the middle because this one is going to step out, right? So, cause every four we're going to go in. So here's four, one, two, three, four, step in one, two, three, four, step in. Now because of the double slab texture, I got to do some of this here. Um, so one, to now here's where it's going to get a little trickier here's where it's going to get a little trickier because this i want to start only go, i want to start going up a level um here so that means i need to do let's see how are we gonna do this this and then i need to get rid of that okay so that's four but it goes up because this is only three up so see what i'm saying every four is going to slide in but every, but then this is going to go uh five or six in the middle four four three and probably this is going to go a two. So we'll go a two right here. One, two, and we'll go another. Yeah. So then we're going to go up. Um, let's go another two. So that's one, two. Okay. So this is going to have to go there and then we have to break this and then we have to put it back there. Okay. That to get rid of the double stab. So again, so we're going, let's see, this would be, so that's wait. Uh, so that's four and that's four. Yeah. And then we'd step in, but we don't need to step in because we are at the, uh, we're at the, at the meeting place. So it works out really well. So we'll just do this like this. And, and then this can be just, this can be like a one step drop into the, the bridge, right? No big deal there. So that's the beginning of the bridge. Now I'm going to have to make it a lot wider and a lot more, more ramshackle is the word I've been using a lot to describe this kind of thing. But I'm thinking, looking at it from the side. I'm just thinking that it this middle part needs to be one or two extra blocks long. I think that only four is just not enough. It doesn't look like it's really uh, it's really hanging quite enough. I think the rest of it's going to be okay because we're going to have have some suspension things and stuff coming from branches above. But I think it gives the right effect. So let's try seven here. I think that should work. And then oh, but that doesn't work. I have to go out to get the to get the angle right. One, two, three, four, and then this one has to go here. Oh man, I almost, I almost messed up my whole system. Okay, four. And then what we'll do is then we'll come out one. No, actually I lied. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna be dropping so much wood. Uh, no, wait, oh wait. No, <laughs> this needs to go here and then this is here. Okay, yeah, and then this actually is gonna go there. So let's get rid of that. Okay, let me check. That's four and this is four. Okay, you enjoy seeing math on camera? Probably not so much. Let me work out the rest of this by myself. 
I did it. I feel really good about about the or sort of organic flow of this. And actually, it's making the trees look a lot better. You want to take a look? You know, already I like uh, what what's happening with the trees. I think it really helps. And the the other reason why I want to lay out these stairs now is so that I don't have to work around branches. So now I can put the branches pretty much wherever I want. You know, I know Mantis. I asked her if she wanted to come in and build some mushrooms on the side of the tree, and of course she said. Absolutely, she's the mushroom lady this uh, this season, I think. What's next? You know, that's that's the question because you know now th there are some major things that we have going on. Like I need to build a lot of huge branches. Not ideal for video, right? So yeah, I'm, I'll be doing that either off camera or time lapse, one or the other. I don't I don't know which one. But the next thing is, well, this this doesn't have an ending. Uh, I kind of got to that point. Now remember how the other place, like this place, worked out perfectly. This one, not so much. This kind of ended in a very awkward position. I could bring it around and have it come down through this little area here, but. I discovered this sign. This says Mantis Restaurant. Okay, so that means I was a little bit off. I thought it was up there. It's down here. So not a big deal, but I'm glad that we know that because I was going to bring this right there <laughs> and that might influence that. So instead, I think what we're going to do is we're going to build our first little uh, shop up here. This is supposed to be like kind of a uh, maybe a shopping, a shopping district right within the tree. So let's build a shop here. The reason why I want to build one right specifically here is because I need it to connect to up to there. So it's time to build a tree shop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna be very fun. I need to get some materials, unless I ha I do have spruce. We could maybe get started. Let's get started on camera, kind of work out exactly how we want to do it. Now, I do want to keep the theme the same with the hobbit hole sort of idea, right? Halfling hole, halfling hole, I said, I said. Uh, so let's go here and here, bring this out just a little bit with a little bit of a different wood that I think, oh, hello, hello. I see you have an enchanted bow. Mm-hmm. Can't hurt me in my leather armor. Oh yeah. Leather crew, baby. So okay, let's go up here. Uh, one more, maybe, perhaps. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go out there. Oh, that's awkward. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You know what? Because I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be bringing this up the whole way and then bringing this out and out and out. It's just so it looks like it's it's really attached. And then let's do this. Um. Yeah, that'll be that'll be really nice. Nice way to connect that something in that vein, I think. And then what I want to do is I want to come out here and go up, up, something like this, and I want to strip these guys. Okay, it's gonna give a little bit, a little bit more depth. I'll throw a slab down there just so nothing spawns. A little bit more depth uh, there. Yeah, that'll be good. And then we can do a hobbit hole right here. So. Uh, let's grab a little bit more spruce in one of these. One of these, I, there it is. Okay, and we'll break all these apart and let's make some stairs. I'll need all of them <laughs> for sure. And, I, I, and how about more? How about a few more? A few more just like regular uh, planks. That would be good. So let's see. How about two? That's cool. <laughs> how about way more than two? Some slabs some trap doors. I'm going to have to use a lot of spruce because of the, the it's already so much dark oak here. I'm going to have to mix it up somehow. Mm, okay, let's build this. We'll go here and here, here and here. That's not so bad. That's not so bad at all. There, give it a little texture there. Mm -hmm. There, something like that and something like that. How's that feel? Does that feel like a like the hobbit hole that we've been doing? I think it does. I think it does. It's okay. I think it now uh, up here, up here. Yeah, there's some problems, but that's okay. We're gonna, I want to think I'm going to do maybe a wool canopy on top of this. So I'm not overly concerned, but let's put up one of these up on top of that. Something like that. And we'll do something like here, 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 and maybe straight across there. In fact, actually, I wouldn't mind doing something like this. Yeah. That's not too bad for a little hobbit hole. I like that. I like that a lot. And uh, I, I, I'm a little partial to the dark oak doors, so let's make those here. I think they're a little bit nicer looking. Uh, here we go. We'll do hmm, here, there, and there. Okay, cool, awesome. And I actually, I think we're gonna go this uh, double double slab thing again right there. I think that is really nice. In fact, actually, hmm, should I do this? Should I do that with that peeking out? Yeah, it's okay. Kind of gives a little extra effect. Uh, I don't know if I like it though. It's all right. Let's try this. Let's try that instead. 
No, I don't really like that either. <laughs> I don't like either of those two things. Hmm, hmm. What about this? Oh, that's nice. That's better. That's better. Okay, that's fine. So, so okay. So there we go. So that's a little Hobbit hole store, which is not too bad. Now the entire rest of this store is actually going to be inside. So we figure out what we're gonna what we're gonna uh, sell in the store. Hmm. Let's. We got to make a couple decisions. I went and got a whole bunch of stuff, and I decided what I want to sell. I decided that I want to sell. It's right here. Armor. Uh, now there's going to be more places. You know, I, I I did think about maybe that that you know maybe we should have each store only sell one very specialized thing you know which would allow for having a lot more stores but also i thought that's not the way things work the way things work is you know if, if i want to get my dry cleaning done i drive down the street and there's 10 different dry cleaners they all do all the same thing that's how prices stay low right so uh so i think instead of of like like maybe th this would only sell gold boots you know which is kind of ridiculous that, that's like more of a video game thing than a real life thing right so instead of that um this store is going to sell all the armor we'll just we'll just name it something right that's going to be all the armor now i'm recording this before y'all had a chance to name the uh whatever whatever the, the the inn the tavern the halfling tavern down down at the bottom of the tree so uh trust me i'm waiting for that when that does come i will pick a name but i'm i'm pre-recording a little bit because my in-laws are coming for the weekend and i need to get some content down so i'm recording this on friday that video is coming out on sunday so it might be one or two before you actually see what the name is going to be and that's okay so i'll tell you what why don't we in the comments of this video name this store that's kind of a fun thing and i'll pick the best name that i see well not the best name. i'll pick the name that i like the most in this and this is gonna be a halfling store all these are halfling stores as we get up into the tree canopy which is not here yet uh there are going to be half elves up there uh, we haven't written a lot of lore for those yet other than they are a little jaded they feel abandoned by the elves when the elves left the world uh, left man to their own body they didn't take them with them so they're not extremely happy about things, uh, but but yeah, eventually we're going to get to the half elves. Should be a really uh, fun, fun sort of storyline to, to work out. But uh, I got to work out a few interiors right here, which means some of this needs to go. Some of this is going to have to be a second floor. Okay, that's okay. I need to have a second floor here. Let me show you why. Because up there, there actually probably needs to be a third floor or that's going to be a different store, but there has to be a way down because this is how you're going to go down the path. So we need to have, yeah, probably a third. Yeah, most likely it's going to be a third floor. I, I can't see another way to really do that. So let's put in a roof up here. Maybe this roof will be a little, well, it'll be right there. That'll be just fine. Okay, so we'll put in a roof right here and then we just need to put armor display stands basically oh okay nice and stairs and all that kind of stuff so let me work out some interiors i guess i'll work out some interiors and we'll come back and discuss okay i think i've decided on something that would be really cool is to have a chimney up in here i wasn't totally sure i'm thinking about it thinking about it, but you know we came up with some more oh i i thought of some more i ran by discord and no one said no so i'm gonna count that as a yes <laughs> for whatever that's worth um it, it, that that the, the halflings have a special sort of nature affinity like they have uh an they have like a special touch where they can go into these trees and they can actually uh, build within the trees and it doesn't do it doesn't damn it doesn't damage the trees like they figure out a way that they can they can you know successfully build in these trees and that's going to include even fireplaces i think i think because you know they'd want to they'd want to stay warm in their shops and all that kind of stuff i'm thinking that the upper floor here I was, you know, I, I'm very mixed on whether this should be someone's house or not, but this is just going to heat up this shop. I think it could be really cool to have actually chimneys coming out of the tree and, and it'll be quite different than I think just about anything you've ever seen before, in my opinion. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong there, but, but yeah, I think it's going to be really cool. So let's bring this up one and then what we'll do is, uh, oh, we got to go one more there and then we'll bring this one in and this one in and then. We're gonna bring this guy out just a little bit more. And there we go, something like that, like this. Yeah, maybe we'll end up putting a, a log here, I think. I'll probably end up taking out the bottom one there, but yeah, okay. Uh, that's cool, and let's go here and here, and let's, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we are going to bring this out one, so we'll go out here and here here and here see what i'm doing and then this one is gonna come up this here to here and this is the fireplace should be good 
Should be a really good place for a fireplace. So I'm probably going to burn the crap out of myself here. Uh, I certainly am. Let's see. <laughs> Put that there. And some of this action there. Oh. Oh, jeez. Everything's going wrong. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah. And should be able to just do this, I think. Yeah, I can. Awesome. Awesome. Pro-level Minecrafting right there. Let's see how it looks with only this one chimney. Hopefully it's going to be good. But let's take a look from down here. What do we think? Oh, man. That's crazy, right? Like a chimney coming out of this huge giant tree. And there's going to be leaves and all that kind of stuff as well. But I think that's really cool. Yeah, I really like it. I think that's awesome. Okay, so that's uh, one step. That's one step here. The next step is going to be I'm going to need a whole bunch of armor stands and darn if i can remember how to make them so i'm gonna have to look up the recipe and make a bunch of those and then get ready for some display displaying all of my goods uh thing and, and we're also going to utilize some of these things as well like behind uh stuff we'll get to it I came up with a with not a name, not a name, but an idea for this because some so a couple things I've tried. I tried a window in the tree. Looks pretty cool. I really, really like it. I wasn't sure. I was a little worried about it, but yeah, I really like it. I think it's awesome. So uh, one thing that I want to, uh, to to discuss with you is that this is a used armor store. Okay, that's what we came up with. It's a used secondhand armor store. Who knows why where it came from? Maybe maybe knights defeated in battle. But yeah, so you got to name this. You got to name the secondhand armor store. Here we go. A little a little place where the, the, the seller dude is going to write up his uh, receipts. And the second floor shelf, even more armor. And pretty cool. Pretty cool up here. And then and then here, uh, my favorite floor is once we get up here to the top, uh, this floor, where maybe this guy, this, this might be like an armor rental or something. Like maybe he's like, yeah, okay, you can borrow this for a week. And if you don't get shot, then bring it back <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, a little Keurig over here by the fire. I think that's going <laughs> kind of fun. I don't know if it's a Keurig. But yeah, maybe, maybe we'll... Put a, put, a, put a chair right there. I wish it wasn't the same wood, but you know what? It, we'll, we will all live and be fine. And uh, yeah, little landing and also another entrance. And this is going to be open to the air, I do, I've decided. So I, I wasn't sure how I wanted to go with it. I, I spent some time thinking, should I put a door like open here? And then how would the door open? It's just going to be open. It's going to be open. These, these halflings are not, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty, uh, they're pretty, pretty trusting people. And, uh, yeah, it's just going to be open to the public. And then maybe this, this thing could maybe, maybe clap down. So to protect the rest of the store at night or something, but yeah. So what do you think? Good. You like it? Secondhand armor store needs a name, needs a name folks. Okay. You know what to do. Name my store. So yeah. <laughs> this is pretty cool. What a fun little surprising episode. I, I, I didn't know that we would get this much done today, but we did. We did. So uh, yeah, secondhand armor store, baby. I'll talk to you all later. Next time, uh, Realm of Assin. Subscribe to my friends, please. Drop them a like. Drop me a like. Sure, why not? I'll, I'll plug myself. <laughs> That's fine. All right, see you next time. Hey folks, special thank you to my YouTube members and my patrons. You guys make all the things that we do possible. If you are a patron and you have not gotten your silver tier reward, I know there's several of you there or your gold tier reward. Now gold tier, I'm just getting close to getting ready to get started on that this season. You know, it takes a couple weeks to get going. So we're getting close. But if you need your silver tier reward and you haven't gotten it yet, please send me a message, okay? I have written down one or two here, but I know that there's a few more. So if you want to have your house built somewhere in the realm of Aston, I'm about ready to start digging in and doing that now that we've sort of got our feet set here and we're going to wait until next month to start the Kingdom 2. So this is kind of the, the, the perfect window. So if you need your house done in the realm of Aston, please send me a message. I, I, I won't be mad. I won't be mad. You're going you're to make me happy, okay? There's a weird video thing happening. Probably doesn't matter. Probably doesn't come up in your end. Okay, I'll see you next episode. Bye, everyone. Thanks so much. Again, YouTube members, patrons, you guys, uh, thank you so much for everything.